Alright guys, what's up? Uh, six week review pros and cons of Res Virtual. Uh, first time using it. It's been, I've been in there for six weeks now using it. Uh, number one thing I have noticed is in my endurance. Uh, my endurance is insane. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, just, I just feel increased blood flow. I feel better blood flow. Uh, when I'm training, when I'm lifting weights, I feel like my endurance is a lot better. When I'm doing cardio, I especially notice it. I feel like my cardio, I feel like I just keep going, to be honest. And I'm not, like, I'm 230 pounds. I'm more of a weightlifter than I am, like, a runner, anything like that. But I've got some crazy endurance taking this stuff. And I didn't have that before. I was doing cardio, and I was I was fit, and I was healthy. But my endurance has definitely bumped up to a whole nother level since I'm um, taking resveratrol. Uh, I feel like I'm also training harder. So lifting weights, training harder, training better. Uh, how much is in my head? How much is the risk virtual? I don't really know. These are just things I've personally noticed. I'm pretty body self-aware because, yeah, I always take care of myself. I always watch out for what I eat. I fast. I'm very self-aware on how I'm feeling, how I'm functioning. But I've definitely noticed that my endurance and I'm training harder. Uh, another thing is I feel like I recover a lot better. And I'm, I'm big on recovery. I do cold showers. I have done cold showers for five years. Uh, I like using compressions. I like using like branch chain amino acids. I'm pretty aware of recovery. I'm pretty aware of what to do. And you, you kind of like, you recover to a certain point and you kind of get an idea, hey, I feel sore here, I feel sore there. I don't really get sore and I feel like I recover better than ever. Um, I'm taking NMN and resveratrol together. So is it a combination of both? Is it just as resveratrol? Resveratrol. I always have trouble saying this word, by the way, too. That's a that's a con. I have trouble saying this word. Um, so yeah, the pros: endurance, train harder, recover better, for sure. For me personally, after six weeks. All right, the con of resveratrol, and this is this is a big one, guys. And I want you guys to be aware of this. And this is not something I thought about, not something I ever thought I would experience. But I guess resveratrol thins your blood. Um, and therefore it gives you better blood flow, reduces the risk of um, heart disease, things like that. Uh, I was at a restaurant having a lovely little dinner at a Mexican restaurant. And I live in Las Vegas and I get dry, like dry noses and occasionally I get nosebleeds. Very, very occasionally, maybe once every three months, if that. And I'm at dinner and I kind of just sniff in a little bit and all of a sudden someone's just hit a tap. And my nose is starting to just pour out, like not drip, not a little bit. I'm talking about complete utter blood pouring out my nose with no break. And I'm just like kind of in shock. So I was taking um, I was taking two pills of resveratrol, and for some reason I, I looked on the back and I didn't think I was taking enough, so I doubled my dosage uh, the day before, and then the day after is when I got the nosebleed. So obviously I've taken too much, and this nosebleed was absolutely out of hand. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't move, I couldn't clog it. It was blood was going everywhere. Everybody at the restaurant was freaking out. <laughs> I was trying to stay calm um, and then eventually got a tissue up there, finally got it to stop and I was so paranoid for so long. And then um, again, that was like early lunch, it might have been again that night, maybe 8 o'clock at night, so maybe 5 hours later, just in the bedroom, put my head down and then again, boom, no, no warning, no, not slow, and sorry this is so graphic. But I just want you guys to kind of get an understanding of what, what possibly can happen. Uh, my nose just started pouring out blood again. It was it went everywhere, all over the floor, all over the tissue box, me trying to save it. Um, so if you are somebody who cuts himself easy or doesn't you know doesn't want to be bleeding or can't afford to be bleeding because they can't afford to lose blood, uh, be very aware of this and be very careful. Because I'm pretty healthy, um, you know, I don't touch wood, I don't ever cut myself, but that was absolutely insane. So that's definitely a um, definitely a con. Another con is, going back to 
what's real and what's fake. Uh, I really don't know. I think what I was taking is real because I could feel the effects. Was it a placebo? I don't know. Was it in my head? I don't know. But I definitely felt better. I definitely functioned better. I definitely recovered better. I definitely got a nosebleed, which I've never had in my entire life. So it's it's kind of weeding out what's fake and what's real and making your own decision and trying to find the right information because with enough marketing, with enough be money behind ads, you kind of you, you just never know. And the new products are not most people don't know about it, so you don't really know who to ask and who to trust. And then the last con, and this isn't this isn't a big one, but for me it's kind of annoying. Like I I fast I fast twenty three hours a day, so I do intermittent fasting. So I generally. Um, I don't eat until 6 p.m. at night, which means I fast the entire day. And if you know anything about fasting, you're not supposed to have any calories. So I have one black coffee throughout the whole day, and that's that. With res virtual, it needs to be uh, mixed with fat. It needs to be dissolved because the way it is, your body can't absorb it. And uh, David Sinclair says this, you absorb five times more by taking the time, mixing it with fat, and um, having your fat. So, but by doing so, you break, you're technically breaking a fast because anything over 50 calories technically breaks a fast. And I hate that because I'm all about autophagy. The longer you fast, the more autophagy benefits you get. So it's um, kind of like this back and forth thing where at the moment I have full fat yogurt. I have as little as possible, as low calories as possible. And I put my resveratrol in there and I mix it up and I don't mind it, it's a bit of a pain, I don't mind it, but it's more the fact that I'm breaking a fast first thing in the morning, which really bugs me. So I just want to kind of, guys, let you know that that's the con. So pros, endurance, train harder, recover better. This only being six weeks. Uh, con is the nosebleed, the thinning of the blood, um, working out what's real and what's fake, and then just having to mix it in fat, um, and breaking a fast. But that's not something that, if you don't fast, it's not a big deal. But if you don't fast, I highly recommend doing it. And if, you, if you're one of those people that can't fast, uh, blah, 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 just man up and do it because it's the best thing. To, it's even better than taking all those supplements, put it that way. So thanks for watching. I'll keep doing these videos. I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll see you next time.